Most people have no idea what an MCP is, but it might be the most important automation tool for your no-code development projects right now on the internet. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Trace IDE to build a full MCP server that scans my YouTube videos, takes the long form transcripts and rewrites them automatically to make viral TikTok videos using a specific framework. I know what you're thinking. This sounds way, way too crazy and complicated. If you have no experience with no code, with AI building MCP servers, this video is for you. And I'm gonna dumb it down so it's so freaking easy in about 10 minutes. I'll walk you through the whole process. Setting up your Trey IDE new editor, getting everything set up, setting up your MCP server, looking at all the different configurations, launching your MCP server, building the website, and lastly, using it to create TikTok scripts. And the best part about all of this is you don't have to touch one line of code. It is all 100% done for you. So by the end of this video, you're gonna understand MCPs, how to set them up, and how to use them to blow up your channels or grow your businesses. Let's jump into it. So first things first, when we get started, is you actually need to download Trey. So it's uh, TR, AE.AI. Just go in here, download it for Mac, and it works exactly like Cursor. It's an IDE that basically loads up on your computer that you could then connect and actually start doing all of your coding directly on your desktop. But today we're going to be focused on MCP. And as you can see right here, if you open up this right here, this ta this tool, you could see there is two settings now. There's a builder, a standard agent that we can build, and now there is this thing called Builder with MCP. And this gives you the power to actually add MCPs or create your own. So in this case, we're going to do both and I'm going to show you both. So first things first is let's go, go to add and we're going to add an MCP server. Check that out. And there's a bunch of different ones. If you guys aren't familiar with MCP are is essentially like, think of it as like Lego blocks. Each Lego block can do a specific task and you can just stack them together. They can all work together and give you way, way better results. Let's say you wanted to build a website. You have to say, make me a navigation. And then you would say, okay, I'll make me a header section. I'll make me a footer section. With an MCP, you could just program, here is an MCP block for navigation, header, the text, the footer, and everything. And then when you're making a new website, you could just say, enable my MCP server with those blocks, and then bang, and one swoop, all of them do those four things for you, and you instantly have results. So it really speeds everything up like a thousand times faster. So let me just jump into it so I can actually show you how this works. So if we wanted to, for example, set up a GitHub MCP, we can just go right here. But for our case, in today's video, we're gonna be making the YouTube um, tool. So why don't we look up for a YouTube one? So if we type in YouTube, check this out. Interact with YouTube content seamlessly. This was created on today actually, or updated today. So we can compare videos, get channel statistics, get the top videos, transcripts, trending videos. So these are all the different blocks of the MCP. So I love this. So let's just connect this one to our product. Now we have to go in and actually put in our snippet. So the way you do this is you copy here, you go to the instructions page, just click on it. All the directions are there. And this might seem overwhelming for you guys. Just go through the tutorial very slowly and you'll be able to understand exactly how this works. So now we're gonna go down here and it's going to give us our snippet. See right here, this MCP client configuration. So we're just gonna copy this right here. And one thing you'll notice in here, it says YouTube API key, which we're gonna get. So now we're gonna take this, we're gonna select it all, we're gonna copy this, and then we're gonna open up YouTube. So Google Dev, make sure you guys check that out. It's a free account, just set it up, connect it to your Gmail. And then we're going to go to console right here. And then we're gonna find the API. So right here, APIs and services. And then you can just start a new project, but I already have one that I'm using as a demo. And then we're gonna to go to credentials right here. Oh, actually APIs first. So we're gonna to go to API, and then we're gonna type in YouTube. So this is one extra step. And here it is, YouTube Data API version three. So now we're gonna enable this API and now we're gonna get the API key. You're gonna hit create credentials, API key. Super simple, make sure you guys keep your keys. And when you do demos, just delete them. So I'm gonna delete this obviously so you guys can't use it. Now we have that. Now we're gonna go back to our project and then we're going to paste our API key right here, just like that. So now we're gonna have our API key connected using the YouTube one. And now it's gonna say, do not show this again. And I understand. So now we have our MCP API key connected for this YouTube. I want to build a website that's going to allow me to use my YouTube MCP server that I set up. It already has the API installed. What I want this website to do is be able to scrape my YouTube channel 
transcribe all my videos, and then write one minute TikTok videos, scripts for me to take my long form videos and make them viral videos on TikTok. So there you have it, guys. So that's gonna be our application. Builder with MCP. We also have our languages here. You could select Sonnet, Sonnet 3.5, 3.7, Gemini 2.5. We also have GPT 4.1, DeepSeek V3. So for this, let's just use Gemini. Let's actually use, uh, let's use Gemini 2.5, it's fine. And then we're going to, so make sure we have this. I want to build a, let's do Next.js, Next.js website. Make sure everything is correct. And then we're going to hit send. So now it's going to check everything. It's gonna make sure our MCP server is working and then it's going to actually build out our website. So this would be exactly like you would be building any other website, but the additional piece is adding this MCP component that's going down to do all the hard work when it refers to the YouTube. So normally what I would have to do is I would have to connect the API and then I would have to create all these different NP uh, API endpoints where if I do this, do this, right? And all of these different things. When you have this connected, it's going to do all of that for you. Like I mentioned, those Lego blocks. So this is why this is so important. For all of you for all of you guys that understand this, sorry for repeating myself, but a lot of people are very confused by how these MCP servers work. So that's why I want to just slow things down and make sure you understand it first so then you can build it. And again, you can build this for anything. Right now we're using a pre-built YouTube one, but we could just make our own. It would go through and first scrape all the YouTube videos. That's the first step of the agent. Then it would take an automation and then transcribe everything. So that would be a second step. So it would be very linear, right, in order. And it would then go and take my transcript. Then it would use another tool to do something else to the transcript. Then it would use OpenAI's GPT to then transcribe my videos and so on and so on. MCP, one, two, three, four agents all doing it at the same time. Your output is much faster. So waiting for my response. So let's run this. If this is your first time watching the video, I really, really appreciate it. My name is Marcin AI. I am a no code developer and I run the no code AI army community where we have builders, creators, no code people, full stack developers all in here building. There is now 4,584 members. So we're almost about to crack 5,000. People are in here are building full stack applications, games, helping local businesses, doing automations, agents, pretty much everything you can imagine. It's all 100% for free for you guys. That's why I created this channel to build this amazing community. So I just wanted to show you that while this all loads up. It does get a little complicated, but once you do it once and you'll understand it, and I'll show you exactly what I mean once this is done, then it's gonna all become really easy. And then your mind's gonna go, wait, I could build MCP servers for pretty much anything. But one of the biggest things about Trey is it's 100% for free. So this is a game changer. So all the language models that are in here, you actually don't have to pay for any of these. So you have the top agent, the top models, and it is 100% for free. So this is massive. Okay, our V1 is finished. You can see right here, it finished everything and it said run npm install and then npm run dev. And now we have our local host and let's open it up and see what we get. YouTube to TikTok script generator. If this is a one and done, I'm gonna be very impressed. We could obviously skin it and make it look really nice, but I think the point of this is to let's see refresh. refresh. So let's see. So let's go and take my, paste that in there, generate scripts. So right now it's using mock. So this is mock generation. Perfect. So next, what I wanna do, let's go back in and say, I want to be able to have a field for the specific YouTube video that I want transcribed, period. I also want to add the OpenAI API to do all of the text for me. Here is the API. We're gonna go to OpenAI. You guys can go to platform.openai.com and then this is what we're gonna use to do all of our text. So let's go and call this Trey and we'll call this YouTube, create secret key. We're gonna take that API. We're gonna then go back to Trey and then we're gonna paste that in here just like that. So now we're going to give it the next level. So right now we have it working. It's pulling in the stuff, but it's mock data placeholders. But now we're going to give it the, the power. So it's going to be able to bring that stuff in. And now it's going to be able to actually change it to do whatever we want it to do. And in our case, we want it to be rewritten for a YouTube uh, to TikTok. So the way you know that it's active is right here. If you click on that, it'll say right there, build an agents, builder with MCP. And it says all MCP servers you add will be automatically assigned to Builder with MCP. So you don't have to. Once you're in there, you create it, then you just select it here. Let's say I had multiple ones, then I'll just select the ones I want. And then when I go back, it's going to automatically be using that MCP server or multiple. So we're gonna open, we're gonna install OpenAI. That looks good, accept all. And we should be close now to getting our final product. And then we're gonna skin it, make it look nice. But this should 
achieve what we want. So let's try it out. Here we go. We're going to go back to our YouTube video. So we're going to take my recent video where I built a AI closet using OpenAI's new image generator. We're going to paste that in here and then we're going to generate script. And there we have it. Ready to virtually try on any outfit with AI? Check this out. AI closet. Build your own AI closet like a pro. Use ChatGPT's image generator for high quality images. Create a website for seamless integration. Start with simple functionalities. Upload photo, merge, and export images. No coding experience needed. Join the No Code AI Army for more projects and tutorials. Let's get started. It's easier than you think. Watch the full tutorial step-by-step -step on my YouTube. Fantastic. And there you have it. We just took Trey's new IDE. We connected an MCP server that uses YouTube to gather all our information from our videos, takes the YouTube transcript, converts it, uses OpenAI API to rewrite it to make it a viral one minute TikTok script. And just like that, we have a fully functioning product in about, what is it, 10, 12 minutes maybe. And the ideas for this are endless. The things that you could possibly do with these, not referring to YouTube, the whole MCP structure. So since we built our first MCP server, next what I wanna do is I wanna show you what other features we have within the MCP server. So here's the YouTube one we did, and you can see right here, get videos, search videos, get transcripts. It's got all of that in there, right? We could go to settings, and this is where it gets really good. So if we had something already that we could use from them, but I wanna make a new one. There's so many in here already. You got Google Drive. So look at this file access and search capabilities for Google Drive. So you can implement that right away. There's a bunch of different apps in here. Firecrawl, you could essentially put any information in. You got Cloudflare, Stripe. So interact with your Stripe API. So this eliminates the whole need to do any complex Stripe integration. You literally launch the Stripe MCP server, put your API key and bang, it builds everything for you. So look what it does actually on the Stripe one. So it does balance, customer create, document read, invoice item, invoice create, payment, processing, prices, and products. I mean, all it is in here. So this goes on and on. You could use Docker, Hugging Faces. There is probably hundreds of thousands of MPC, MPC, MCP servers out there already. But let's see, we got Firebase, Excel, Airbnb. Here is how you actually do it. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just go to this doc right here, which is docs.tray. And then it's model context protocol. That's what MCP stands for. So if you really want to read up on it and learn more, then that's how you would do it. Okay, next, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to create our own. So we're going to go here. We have our builder with MCP. You can see right here, but it says right here, look, you can create agents. So let's create an agent, YouTube idea agent, prompt, enter your agent's role, tone, workflow tools. I want to be able to put a keyword into a field and I want you to give me 10 YouTube title ideas, period. Next, it's going to show us what tools do we want to use. So for example, we have our YouTube MPC server right here. So we want to keep that one in there, for example. Then you can do file systems, terminal, web search, preview. You can check these off. For whatever your needs are, you want to be able to use that stuff. And then also, you can click here. And like we said, you can go in and add your custom agent. So right here, we can create this like we were doing. Then we're going to hit create. And then we're going to go use now. Can you make a new page on our website and use this new agent for YouTube ideas? Bang. So now we just added context to our MCP server. We want to now all of a sudden do YouTube titles. All we got to do is just create that. It's going to use all of our stuff that we set up in MCP server. And now it's going to do that for us. Very, very easy. Let's test it out now. So up here now, so you say generate YouTube title ideas, different page. And let's just go with no code AI. No code AI. And let's see what it comes up with. Mastering AI without code, a beginner's guide. Building powerful AI models without any coding skills. Let's try another one. What the hell is AI MCP? Uncovering the mystery. What the hell is AI MCP? AI MCP explained the ultimate guide. You get the point. We got our YouTube generator, title generator, and it all uses Trey AI IDE to do all of it for us with our own agent. So let me show you some more settings here to make sure that this is set up correctly. So if you go to this little settings tab right here, you can see it says agents, MCP context, rules, and models. So agents is going to be where we were in, where you actually get to create your own agent. Also down here, there's automatic run commands. You want to make sure that these are in there. So they can basically deny list and an approval list. If you go to context, this is very, very important. So for example, if you have certain files you want to ignore in your build, this is a lot more technical. But if you know what you're doing, you can do this. And then a big one is add your command docs. So you can actually go in here and add docs for your project. So for example, if we're using the YouTube API or if we're using something different, 
you want to put that in here so it has all the most updated documentation. This is definitely for larger builds, but very, very powerful. And same thing with rules. You can go in and create all your rules. It creates the rules.mds and all your project rules. So it doesn't go and hallucinate, it builds a bunch of stuff. And last but not least, your model. So you could go in here, select your model, or best part, you can actually add a model. Go to open router, set up an account. And if you wanna try the new Llama, you can just program it in here and then add your API key. And then you can use any of the newest models, the open source ones, the newest ones from ChatGPT and so on. That gives you the power of that. So a lot of flexibility here with these tools and you're able to build a lot more stuff if you're specifically wanting to use a certain type of model. So one other big thing that's in here is you have all of your extensions. So Trey has built-in extensions. Like right now, for example, I have all of these already installed for my project, which is GitHub, Git, GitHub. Then for example, if you wanted to add Flutter, you could just install it right here and then it would be included inside your project. So my SQL database, depending on what type of project, what language you're building, everything is in here that can be actually connected directly into your project and Superbase, Superbase integration. If you wanna build a database, one click Superbase integration, very, very easy. And of course, Git, you can put all your Git connection here so you can actually have your project and you can work with other people on it. So sky's the limit with this, definitely have a play. Now you guys know how to set one up for you and then you can actually go in and start playing with these and building all of these out. The link is below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section what I should try building next. And of course, I do appreciate it. If you guys try anything, always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.